Beautiful people, Jorge Vassal signing in one more time. Hope you're having a fantastic day and everything is going your way. Today is Friday, December 16th, and it's a wonderful day. I hope everybody's feeling great. I really do. I want to talk a little bit about Stable Fund and kind of see where we are now. Yesterday was the official launch of version 2. I wanted to kind of check the Discord channel and see where everyone is with this thing and let you know what's going on with my personal account. But before I do, I just want to say thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Those two things help me out a lot with the algorithm in YouTube. So if you could do that whenever you watch my video, first thing, just go ahead and hit a thumbs up. Doesn't cost anything, but it helps me out. I appreciate you. If you want to know when I update new stuff, obviously hit the notification bell and you'll know when new updates come. I am not a financial advisor. This is not a financial advice. I am sharing my opinions, my results, my thoughts and ideas. I risk my own capital with these platforms and I do so knowing that there's a chance that I could lose money. The same way I could make money, I could lose money. And I know that before I get involved. And if I choose to get involved, and it does go wrong and I lose money. I'm not mad at anybody in the world other than myself because I knew it was risky and I got involved anyway, okay? So with any and all of these opportunities, weigh the risks, the rewards, and decide if it's something that you feel comfortable getting involved with. And if you do, do so at your own risk because no one's responsible for your losses if there are losses except you, okay? A lot of people like to celebrate the gains when these platforms are going well, they're cheerleading, oh, this is great, it's fantastic, I love it. But as soon as there's a hiccup or something goes wrong, the platform's the worst thing ever. The people that told them about it are, are crooks and con artists and all this other kind of nonsense. We got to grow up and mature past this kind of ridiculous behavior, people. Okay? We're adults and we're all responsible for our own actions. So now, moving forward, stable fund. Where are we with stable fund? All right. We could recap and we, we can go through all that. We know stable fund stopped paying a couple months ago. They came back and said, we're going to give you the option to go to version two roll your funds over or get a refund. We know they missed the deadlines to give people refunds and BUSD and Poly and a lot of people are angry, right? A lot of people are happy because version two launched yesterday. So when we go into the Discord, what we'll see is that they sent the email out yesterday letting everybody know about the launch, letting everybody know about the Times Square ad for stable fund. And obviously that promotion they had where you could win $10,000, right? Now, the other thing is to remember, they're gonna pay us an SFUSD, which is their stable coin that will be pegged to the value of the dollar. The good news for those who have not got their refunds yet, the refunds have now started. Keep a look on your wallets and do confirm in groups once you've received. Note, this does not mean that migrations have concluded. Both refunds and migrations are running simultaneously. And what they mean by migrations is people who opted to roll over into version two. Um, like myself, yesterday when I first went in, my SFUSD assets were still at zero, and I did not see where any staking had rolled over. But yesterday, before the day was over, I came in here, I went into my wallet, I went to the stake area, and when I hit the calculator, drum roll, bang, there it is, okay? So my rollover has hit my account yesterday. Today is a full 24 hours later, so I've actually received my 1% profit for the day. And this new version of Stable Fund, your funds are staked for 63 days, okay? So I have 62 left because I've had one day, you know, since the staking has begun. So that is encouraging and that is good to see. A lot of us have seen the rollover amount hit our stable fund balances, okay? Now let me go back over here real quick. Again, they're gonna pay us in this FSUSD. And according to these guys, if you're waiting on a refund, those refunds have begun being rolled out today, 700 of which will hit accounts and they will continue to migrate those who have switched to version two as well. So this is the latest, greatest update. Many people have received their version two rollovers into their accounts. Some are waiting. 
and they are now beginning to roll out the refunds for those that just opted to get a refund. Now, once again, you're going to get a refund. It's going to be in SF USD. It's not going to be in BNB or Poly or BUSD or whatever you funded stable fund with initially. They are given all refunds, all earnings, all future, everything with stable fund is going to be done in this FSUSD. So when you receive your SFUSD, once you get your refund, you can go to one of the exchanges where they have this currency available and exchange it for USDT. I think some of the exchanges uh, maybe swap it to Ethereum. I can't remember. I looked at it the other day. You could check the Discord channel and they show you. Um, and the other thing is that they did add the swap feature right in the app. So you should be able to, if everything works as it should, I haven't tried this, right? Because I don't have any SFUSD yet. You can swap from SFUSD to BNB, Matic, Ethereum, FTM, AVAX, or SRocket right in the Stable Fund app. Okay? So that is what it is. We will see what happens as this continues to develop. I will bring you more information. Hopefully, a bunch of people get their refunds today because this has been a holdup. People want their refunds, okay? So from what I've seen, they said they're going to continue doing migrations. So you should get your refund or your version 2 rollover balance in your account soon, okay? They said that they're doing the migrations I don't want to say manually, but there's people there monitoring it. So it's not a 24-7 process and it does end at a point in every day when the people stop working. Right. That's what it said in the discord. So we'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm encouraged that I actually see my SFUSD in my account balance. Now, this is the other part of it. Let's look at this real quick. Let's look at how the staking works in version two. 1% daily return, withdrawal period is once a week, capital lock for 63 days, and a 2% deposit fee. So what that means is you're earning the 1% a day, but you're only able to withdraw it once a week. So I showed you my account where I have, I don't know, 40 bucks of stable fund SFUSD available, but I don't have access to it yet because it's only one day. So I have to wait seven days before I'll be able to see if the withdrawal process works. And that is what I'm very excited to see because if we can get to the point where version two is up and running, people are earning their profits, deposits and withdrawals are working as intended, then the platform is back up and running and doing what it's supposed to do and we'll see what happens. The, the next checkpoint after that will be to see, does it last the 63 days, right? Your, your funds are staked 63 days. So now we have to wait and see, will it last the 63 days? And at the end of that 63 days, will you be able to pull your initial deposit out? These are the things that only time will tell, okay? But this is Jorge Vassal bringing you the latest on Stable Fund. I hope that you are having a great day and you have a fantastic weekend and holiday season. I'm sending you nothing but love and happiness, joy, success, prosperity, wealth, and abundance. And as always, beautiful people, please do well and be well.